is up fellow members of the Doom Patrol, welcome to my Doom Patrol Season 3 trailer reaction and first impressions kind of breakdown because I did not expect this video today and I'm actually very busy preparing the reviews for later this week because we have Stargirl and Titans coming out but then the Doom Patrol trailer seems to drop so I, I have to at least do a reaction. I'm going to try my best to get a breakdown up like a full in-depth one but if you don't see that immediately be patient because we are very much so going to get into it but this season guys considering I know that we have Madame Rouge coming I, that I've been thinking is this the season for the full-blown Brotherhood of Evil because I just don't see necessarily Madame Rouge being like this singular so do you see what I mean I'm hoping for the brain I'm hoping for Monsieur Mala I'm hoping for finally maybe the Doom Patrol's actual proper first superhero threat whilst also treading along some of the plot threads from last season especially with Jane and whatnot but we need to get into this enough rambling time for the reaction. I'm nervous. I did not expect this today. <laughs> a little bit of a recap. A light is imminent. My God. There are mysterious things in this world that they're keeping an eye on. My God. I think there's something he needs to show me. So many... We appear to be dead. How do you want to be remembered? Was there another way or not? Wake up. You're in danger. Piffle Puffle, Bindi. What the hell happened? Piffle... There is something weird going on. People are coming for us. But what does it all mean? It's your own damn question. It's those data freaks. Why does this crap keep happening to us? What you're experiencing is the eternal flagellation. Oh, 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 oh. What? through the looking glass now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. Okay, so I think... How can I not do a deep dive into that? Just because there are so many things at once. Like, what? What? what is going on? <laughs> oh, my God. So, I am trying to digest this as I, as I am seeing it uh, again on screen. It, well, what just happened? So, one thing I am very, 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 very happy about is that I saw the brain. I saw Ultimax there, and I saw Monsieur Mala, and the CG looked good. I'm just trying to get back to it, because I need I need to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so here we go, here we go. I'm just seeing on screen again. Okay, so I can see the brain in a chair, and it looks like to be the very same kind of chassis that he had whilst we saw that um, actually appear in that flashback with Mento, even though that trophy room was quite dusty, but... Interestingly enough, that little chassis was still left behind there. So I guess the brain found a new one. But it's very sim it's very comic book accurate. That's all I have to say. So I'm very happy about that. And I, I may not seem mega surprised right now. Only because I was really banking on Ultimax coming this season. I think fans have wanted to see the Brotherhood of Evil for quite some time. It's just, I, you know, in retrospect, it would have probably been a little bit too early to do them with the stuff they first wanted to pave. Uh, the first two seasons forward with and I still think they've done such a stellar do job on Doom Patrol. The only thing being obviously the finale last season wasn't actually the, the intended finale but that's you know actually a situation down to the pandemic. But honestly I'm kind of baffled. There were so many things going so fast in that trailer that the only takeaway I got was like the brain and Monsieur Marla but at the beginning I believe we are picking up with Dorothy and some new footage there. For some reason it reminds me of the same location as when they're on the moon but I think this is meant to be the candle maker's domain uh in the in the comics i think it is like I, I believe he does actually have a throne like actually a wax throne now here i can't properly make it out but he either way we do see dorothy here with the candle maker she doesn't seem to have that little makeshift weapon that she made i don't know what happened to that but what what did happen to dorothy at the end of se season two if you remember she got like taken and then that was it the doom patrol would turn into freaking wax everything ended like pretty dire for all the all the members of the doom patrol but the thing that fascinates me if there's one theme i can take away from this trailer it looks like everybody's high like seriously like everyone's had a smoke because you see jane here just like everyone's like going around in circles initially you see jane like riding a bike you see <laughs> you see you see larry just floating in the air just really happy now obviously obviously that's not going to be the case but they just all seem to be in a trip and that even seems to get more solidified upon by kipling saying we're all the way down the looking glass now later and everyone just kind of looks kind of out of it now i got a feeling this moment with larry here when he's just flying without his bandages on i, I kind of hope that isn't a uh, it might be a dream kind of situation because larry 
needs those bandages and when they're when they're off like it would leak radiation and he's still very much so burned but i do find it fascinating here that there's this kind of uh, vibe of liberation as he's flying throughout the clouds here now i would like that to be real because i want that to be real for larry like flying and just being at one with the with the spirit but the only thing that makes me think that this particular scene isn't necessarily like a real, real life scene is just because he's got his skin back. Unless they find a way of actually incorporating Matt Bowman there. But like, I, I, I don't I don't think they are going to other than just his occasional scenes with a bit of voice acting. But either way, one thing, you know I'm here for Larry's story. Every character in this, I'm here for every freaking character because they give such a concentrated dose of character development character actual focus unlike sh some shows don't seem to do that but this show one of its biggest strengths is making you feel like you goddamn care about the characters like so much so that uh, i'm so ready for it but also speaking of the actors who normally just voice act we get a little tease of brendan fraser here uh, and it looks like he's gonna have more scenes like he does usually every season but i'm always very very game for that and the rise of brendan fraser has, has happened because i believe he's been cast in the scorsese movie now which is insane but it picks up next with like death i believe we are dead i hear we i believe we hear rita say now this Maybe something happens to you when you die, and what they're trying to go for here is like when you die through the candle maker's wax, you may be maybe kind of get uh, given into this kind of not necessarily alternate reality or dimension, but they seem to be in some kind of weird space uh, in, in in like a kind of aftermath of being turned into wax. I mean, don't forget we saw like Robot Man's armor or chassis, just his his Robot Man's suit, if you will, just everywhere crushed and. So I was thinking, oh my god, are we going to get a slightly updated Robot Man suit next season? But regardless here, w w one thing we do know is that there's going to be some kind of way for the Doom Patrol to navigate out of wherever the hell they went after they were waxified by the Candle Maker. Because as I said, don't forget last season like it didn't really end well for anyone and to be honest it does i mean unless these are different parts of the story taken from much further episodes but like they're here like on the boat you know like the the, the boat guy i can't remember freaking what mythology is from but like you know you have the guy who rows the boat the death the, the guy who takes the coin it looks like they're in a boat like that traveling <laughs> but you know that's gonna make for a bloody hilarious trip i'm sure one thing i'm very very happy to see here because i was getting a bit concerned about it i believe abby montry who plays uh, dorothy spinner who i thought maybe after they would wrap up the finale they were supposed to have at the end of last last season that she would maybe be i don't know carted off like maybe dorothy's just gonna be tucked away somewhere again but here we see dorothy in doom manor i believe it's doom manor i can't tell every character there but we see that larry's gone into like ghost mode or like he's still it's weird it's like he's it's like, is he going to be able to be the spirit? Because he, he looks like he's the spirit there. But it's, it's confusing. But regardless, the main takeaway for me here is that we see Dorothy Spinner there. She's in Doom Manor still. So I guess after they sort out the whole candle maker situation, Dorothy is still sticking around. Because I know a lot of people really like Dorothy uh, in the last season. So it'd be really cool to see her carry on, especially with her powers, you know, bringing things from her imagination to life. We've got even more teasers in this trailer. Instead of the brotherhood of Dada, it seems that they're doing the sisterhood of Dada here. So, uh, or Dada, Dada, whatever way you bloody pronounce it. But re regardless, this just looks like a cluster feck of craziness, which, you know, is absolutely other than the amazing character development that doom patrol focuses on that is their other forte shall i say and towards the end of the trailer after monster marla and the brain is that actually our look at madame rouge there but she looks she looks very her face does not look i don't know i don't know but it looks like it could be but maybe that i don't I, something's going on with her face but then we see one of the butts the butts are communicating I did not expect... Wait, no, is there like a butt in the Brotherhood of Evil? Have they done that? I do not know. It is hard to make sense with this trailer, but I'm going to have to try to in another video. But regardless, guys, the, the main, 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 main takeaway is that this, it looks very Doom Patrol. New season is coming. Ah, so it looks like the leaks were right. September 23rd, I believe the Vulcan reporter actually reported that first. And it does look like that was an accurate date. So September 23rd is the date, guys. Save it in your calendars. Sorry if I'm looking over here too much. I'm just looking at all the absolute trippy stuff that is unfolding on screen right now. 
Uh, I think we even see a really creepy Miranda there. Jesus, what is going on with her? But regardless, guys, let me know your thoughts. Did you? Did I miss any? I mean, this isn't the proper breakdown video, but is there anything blatantly obvious that you spotted that I didn't? But what is your most anticipated thing? I'm really looking forward to the continuation of Jane's story because obviously the Miranda thing uh, was going on and there was a lot more of a mystery going on under the surface, or should I say in the underground uh, but I am absolutely buzzing. It's such a great few months ahead of Doom Patrol, Stargirl, uh, Titans, uh, Lucifer, the final seat. There's just so much going on. But I'm going to love you and leave you here, guys. So that was my reaction. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Make sure you subscribe for the breakdown video, but also more updates and breakdowns on Doom Patrol. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you fellow members of the Doom Patrol in the next video. Goodbye.